I think I think one of the um, I think one of the reasons why I think a lot of people are back in New Zealand now. For me, one of the biggest differences between New Zealand and France and Ireland, where, where there was a bit of a gap, was the difference in forward pack quality. When Ireland went down to New Zealand, I think New Zealand forward pack was out muscled. But we saw what New Zealand, I think the change that they made with the new forward pack coach um, against South Africa, dominating a South African pack. As as like as a South African fan, that's that's something you know. I know we've taken a lot of losses, but for see, to see us knocked out the park like that physically, it's something that I'm not usually used to seeing. So I think if New Zealand can replicate that against the French pack, they're definitely gonna call cause some upsets at this World Cup. I think 100. percent Yeah, I agree. It's what we talked about before. The full pack is the base of it, and um, and and the All Blacks have made some huge shifts. Uh, I was actually um. I has had a sauna last night. It was at Scott Barrett's house, and his his so he's got like a, a big. He made a big sauna outside his house, and um and I talk about it's a best being a beast. Like Scott Barrett is an absolute beast. <laughs> he's like a Greek god, mate. You, you take his top off, he's like muscles on muscles on muscles. <laughs> it's sort of um, but uh yeah, like someone like at the steel that he's brought into that pack. Um, they've um yeah, but, but, I mean when you've got challenging um, selection problems going on in the tight five. That's a really good problem to have. And the All Blacks have got that at the moment. <clears throat> Would you put him in that? I just lock in the world conversation because I think he's someone that's flying under the radar right now. I think we, we've, as a collective, we've talked about Scott Barrett a lot, but he's made so many improvements for his game. So would you, are you potentially pushing to call him the best lock in the world? I don't want to put you on the spot, but yeah. <laughs> Um, well, you know, once again, try and take my biased head off for a sec. You know, he's a he's a he's a crusader. He's an all black, and he's a he's a he's a good mate too. Um, uh, that 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 uh that Barrett family, holy hecker, eh? You know, that's uh that's a, that's a there's some genes in there. They've they've um you know they've they've got some they've got something different. You know that that trio. Um, it's uh that their work ethic. They've, as I mentioned earlier, their fitness base, like those three guys are just super fit in the chuck, you know, um, a, a brave, you know, chuck high rugby IQ, you chuck all that stuff on top of that. Um, it, it's a pretty lethal combo. So, yeah, it's um, he's, he's going to be a big part of this World Cup for sure. I think it's interesting that New Zealand are finding probably the, the most form going into this World Cup. I think players like Richie Mwanga is really establishing himself in that 10 years now because there's a lot of debate with McKenzie. I think, personally for me, I think Richie Mwanga is probably the best 10 in the world. There's a lot of debate about it, but yeah, he yeah. Is. what's your opinion? Yeah. It's got to be Finn Russell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah R- Richie, um, love playing with Richie. Like, Richie is, yeah, he's, he's, I've got a lot of fun, fun memories in the game, but Richie sort of sits alongside a lot of those memories as a player and as a person. Just like, absolutely love being in his team. He, he's like the he's the classic quarterback. If you think about a quarterback, sort of um, like running the team, you know, leading the team. You know, he, he's he he like runs uh, sessions um, where it's like, boys, this is what I need this week. And he'll stand up, and you'll he'll, he'll just really, really direct and clear in what he needs from everyone around him to make sure that he can nail um, the role for the team. So like, R- Richie is another one of those players who rises as the games get harder. Like as, as we go into finals, you know, all of a sudden Richie's at a different level. You know, the way he, he could see it on a Monday, you just see it in his eyes. You know, he just um, he just loved pressure and loves rising to the occasion. So. Um, they would have learned a huge amount from the last World Cup too. Um, you know, he's obviously grown as a player and a person, and so, yeah, for me, he is—he's the ten, you know, and um, it's going to be—I I think he'll lead the team extremely well. Is there any ten in world rugby right now? I know Bro hadn't said Ben Russell. Is there any ten for you right now in the world that comes close to um, Mwanga? I know some people might, might even say Johnny Sexton, but would you say Mwanga's head and shoulders better than the rest, in your opinion? Well, like Johnny Sexton for me has been incredible. Like just seeing how much he's he's improved. Um, I mean, how old's Johnny now? Be thirty seven, oh, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. and just like his 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 time on the ball, he he just fits the style of our Irish play too. His ability to have his quick hands, his ability to play flat at the line, um, like he's a huge part of why Ireland are you know one of the dominant forces at the moment, and it could genuinely go all the way. Um, so, I mean, Johnny's the thing is he's done it for such a long period of time at such a high level. Like you, he's he's sitting right up there at the moment. I mean, there's, there's quality players everywhere. Um, 
in the world, obviously. For me, Richie does sit at the top uh, at the moment. Um, but, you know, I am from New Zealand and I'm from Russia, <laughs> so maybe maybe that's why I'm saying that. Speaking well, of, you think his um, ban, we, obviously we know Sexton's world-class quality is getting up there in age now. I believe he would have had seven, six months off of the Rugby World Cup but by the time the Rugby World Cup starts. How how important do you think it will be for him to get back up to his full fitness, lead Ireland, be world class? And if he does manage to win this World Cup, are you now going to be willing to put him in the same conversation with a Dan Carter potentially as the go? Um, this is this is some some of the stuff the fans have said. I personally don't agree, but just just your own opinion. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I I reckon. Um, you know, if, if someone can play at a high level for a long period of time, um, you know, they, they, they're all of, all of a sudden in the conversation. They are, I mean, the fact that we're even talking about it, he's in the conversation. Whether he deserves to be at the same level, um, everyone's going to have different opinions on that. For me, you know, results. Um, or for me, these like we're talking about high performance. Like, what what is high performance? Yeah. And for me, there's obviously results are a big part of that. What like, what have you done with your team? You know, how have you, what have you? How, where have you taken your team? Is is one part of it, and then the other part of it is like consistency over a long period of time. Like, how consistent? Um, how consistent did he perform as an individual, and how consistent did, did his teams perform? over a long period of time. And so you look at someone like Dan, it's a pretty incredible record, you know, what he did um, for such a long period of time and all the teams that he was a part of around the world. Um, you know, Johnny, he's had some great results too. This, I mean, this is going to be, if he if he wants to, you know, have a really good crack at that conversation, then this is going to be a big moment for him. Um, you know, there's, there's a couple, it's great for me to see a couple of Kiwi boys doing well in the Irish jersey at the moment too. Like I, I played yeah. with, with with Jamo, with Jam- Jameson Kidson Park, and with James Lowe, with Māori All Blacks, and they were players in New Zealand that um, they didn't really get an opportunity. Um, you know, Aaron Smith had, has had that stamp on that nine jersey forever, and and it's incredible. You know, someone like a Jamo, there wasn't really an opportunity for him to sort of progress here, and to see him go over and play the way he's playing in Ireland um, has been awesome. James Lowe, similar thing. You know, the outside back quality here in New Zealand through that period was just so high. He goes over there and really stamps his mark, and he's just you know a real second coming. And those two are a huge part of that side. Um, so, yeah, it's it's Ireland, a pretty special team. 